Sing me a song, my George. This is called the butterfly song. Okay. He lost his family. Okay, sing it to me. The boy has found something was pretty and had wings and it was a butterfly and he said I can't find my mom and dad. Take mom and dad. Thank you. I got my haircut. I got my haircut too. We went two months without a professional haircut, huh? was a little rough. All right, you guys, today George and James are gonna be twins. But first, big shout out to HelloFresh. Me and James are gonna make some later today for lunch. Just so you guys know, there's a link in the description to get $60 off your first order, plus free shipping with code the Dashleys 60 Okay, are you ready? Introducing for the first time today, George and James the twins! <laughs> <laughs> Hello! This is how you do the poses. You go, bam, 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 bam. bam. Muscles. Bam. Muscles. Let's Go. see your muscles, James. Go. Oh, donkey Go. kick. Go. She Go. went straight for the donkey kick. There yeah. she goes. Go. Yeah. Woohoo! You're, You're too fast. Really quick, I need to see your best trick. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, what's Jamesy's best trick? James has a new superpower. Watch this. Make Georgie disappear. Make you back, Georgie. He's back. Make Dad disappear. No! Make, make me come back, James. Make you come back. James always makes us come back really fast when somebody makes you disappear. This is where things get confusing. Make James disappear! I want Maggie to come back! Make you come back. Wait, what? Oh, she's back. back. You're yeah. back, James. The rules of magic denote that you can never make yourself come back. Go see how cool you look with your new haircut. Whoa. I love it. I don't know if that means he liked it or not, but he went like this. So I think that means he liked it. Last night, there were supposed to be fireworks, but it rained, so there were no fireworks. So we had some sparklers in our garage. Get that bad guy! Abracapunk! Abracapunk! And we did them for the very first time, huh, George? Were they fun? And I. I got a burn on me. He got yeah. a burn right on his finger right here. Oh man, I'm but sorry, bud. I, I, I don't really need a band-aid. Right. I felt so sad that you had a burn on your hand that I wanted to make you a special breakfast treat. Can I tell you what it is? Mm -hmm. Do you want to help me make it? Mm -hmm. This is a special treat that my grandma would make for me when I was just a little girl, just like you're a little boy. It's called an Orange Julius. Can you say Orange Julius? Orange poop. That's not Julius. I thought it would be nice because the burn was so hot that if we had a nice cold breakfast drink, and it's kind of a treat. Okay, that's for your family first. We need ice cubes. We need about a tray or 16 ice cubes. One cup of milk. Good job, Georgie. Next is a cup of water. Next is a half a cup of sugar. This is why it tastes good. <laughs> I did it! You did it! This is one of the most important parts. This is the vanilla. So we're gonna do one tiny teaspoon. Can I try it? You gonna dump it, George? Good job. We're gonna put take out half of the orange juice, just six ounces. Do you wanna taste this? This is so yummy. Mom used to eat this. Yuck! It's like orange ice cream. Is it yummy? Yeah. What does it taste like? Yellow candy. How was it? Like my foot. Like my foot. Bring freeze. Oh, freeze. Hey, Jamesy, let's try it. Bring back memories of your childhood. Is okay. it yummy, Jamesy? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's just do the straw. The straw is the perfect tool. Can you take a drink with the straw? Mmm. Is that yummy? Yeah. Okay, Georgie, time to try your breakfast shake. Okay, you tell me if it helps your burn feel better, okay? Okay. Okay, take a drink. What's it taste like? Yellow chocolate chips! <laughs> what? You feel better, my George? See my smile. Oh, that is a nice smile. <laughs> you feel better. Check out my silly face. Oh. That's so silly. Jamesy, you what's your silly face? <laughs> That's so silly. So we ended up switching up the recipe a little bit. The full recipe are 
best version ever will be on the dashleskitchen.com and we'll put that link in the description of the video. Okay, touch your eyes. Let me make sure you're watching. Touch your ears. Let me make sure you're listening. Touching my ears. Got it. Okay, George has a lot of energy, but we're gonna try and get through a little bit of preschool with him. The first thing we're working on is letters. Okay, Georgie. What letter do you see? I see A. What letter is this one? Yeah, it makes that sound. What's its name? A. Good. What sound does this letter make? A. Yeah, let's try some lowercase, okay? Remember this one? B. Yeah, this is where it gets a little tricky. This is a picture of a dog. I need to know what sound does dog start with? Let's try it. Can you get your tapping finger out? Ready? D, D, dog. What letter says D, D, D? Is it this letter? <laughs> no. no. Does this letter say D, D? No, it says A, A. What about this one? Let's practice writing, okay? We're writing our lowercase f. We start at the top, go around, down, and a little bow tie right there. Ooh, good writing. <gasps> Stop it. Good job, Ooh, George. And then finish off. Okay, let's see if you know your body. Ready? Show me your ankle. Ankle. Where's ankles? Ankle. Nope. Ankle. Ankle. You wanna see mom's ankle? No. Yes, yes. Cause I kicked our couch, huh? You should never kick a couch. Show me your waist. Do you waist. remember that one? Remember your waist is right here? And where's elbows? The elbows. So with this game, we have letters on all of our peanuts. Hey. I will Help. tell George a sound or a letter, and he needs to it. feed it. James always makes things really, really interesting. Can you feed this hungry elephant the peanut with the ba, ba, ba? Ba! Yeah, okay, put it in his trunk. Okay, the next one is k k k. Which one says k k k? Um, k. Okay, now you ask Mama. Which one should Mom find? Find where that starts with. K k k. Oh. I found it. Mama. She found it. <laughs> I found it, Mom. Good job, I James. It. I found it. You okay. did it, Jamesy. We're gonna make some pork sausage spaghetti bolognese. Can you say bolognese? Bolognese. James is gonna help me make some spaghetti now. Uh, pork sausage spaghetti bolognese. We love HelloFresh because it just shakes things up every once in a while. It's so easy and delicious every single time. And we get to try new things. One of the things that I particularly have noticed that HelloFresh just knocks it out of the park is their spices. They're so good. What is that? This is our marinara sauce. What is that? Those are noodles. Can you help me put them in? Okay, let's go put them in the water. You use Piggy to pour them in? Yeah. Okay, and I'll use Forky. I did my best, James. I'm not helping, but Jamesy, do you want your apron for cooking? There you go, Jamesy. If James is about one thing, it would be procedures and protocol. It's important to wear this, huh? Okay, well that is cooking. Look at the other two recipes that we have here for our latest order. Beef and cheese tostadas, yum. And balsamic fake chicken, something I've never had. I decided on spaghetti today because I know the kids will love this the most. One of the reasons we love HelloFresh is because they source over 90% of their products directly from the growers. It just tastes so fresh and so good. This is almost done. Let's see how the kids and Ashley like it. Okay, Jamesy, our creation is almost done. Can you just sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on there? Yeah. Okay, can you put it on there right there? Tip it. Oh, there you go. Yum. I food's ready. Wow. Did you make it for me? Yeah. Well, it failed. Mmm. How is it? It's really good. Jamesy. So James good. made all of it. You're so good at this. Spices, am I right? Spices. It's like not too spicy, but like not hot spicy, but just spicy. Like yeah. Flavors. Okay. Flavors. Okay. You gotta love can those I flavors. Can I try the spaghetti? Okay. Of course, my George. That's why I made it. You like oh. it, my George? I think that's a yes. <laughs> so we actually made pasta last night, just like simple pasta with like Costco sauce. I thought he wouldn't like the spices, but he actually loves them. So he's eating what we're eating today. <laughs> We're proud partners of HelloFresh. It's just so fast, easy, convenient, and fresh. Like good, good food. So 
Uh, use the code right here, the Dashley60, to get $60 off your first box and free shipping. Additional restrictions apply. See HelloFresh for details. Uh, try them out if you haven't tried them yet. The kids are asleep. Yeah, they're asleep. What is it? 10.30. We 10 did 30. it at 10.30. Guys, we just wanted to sit and chat and give you some updates. First update is my foot has a bump here now, a swollen bump. I don't know what I did to it. And it's the stupidest thing. And I'm just like 100% ashamed and annoyed and mostly just annoyed at myself for kicking the stupid couch. The couch is fine in case you guys were wondering. Thank you for your concern. Some people have thought maybe like I kind of like stressed out a tendon or fractured a bone. I just don't want to go to the doctor because I don't want to pay for it. Let's not do too many close-ups of my feet. <laughs> I've been walking around barefoot for a couple days. It's really hurty down here on the arch and then like kind of like inside right in here and also where there's this bump. So if you're a foot doctor, please tell me if I need to go get x-rays or not. Dallin wanted to do highs and lows. It's been a while since we ended a vlog with highs and lows. Two highs. I took a nap today. That was just glorious. Mm. Summer naps are so nice. It's just so bright and clean and fresh. And just to wake up and it's not dreary. Sunday naps are the best. I love Sunday naps. Other high, Dallin and I have been doing really well this week. We've had a really good week. Yeah, we which have. is really good for us. Just like it's felt very calm and chill. Maybe we're just getting into the quarantine lifestyle and we're gonna fall apart when life gets back <laughs> to normal. No, we're doing better than we've ever done as a couple. And it just feels really good. Our anniversary is coming up, our six year anniversary. How about that? June 6th, you guys. Sixth anniversary on 6-6. Six, six. My low is that it's just been a really weird week for the earth in general. It's really concerning and confusing and sad and frustrating. There's just a lot of heavy, heavy stuff. And Dallin and I are just kind of taking a step back and learning as much as we can and listening to people who should have their voices be heard more than they are heard. So we're just um, sending out hope and love and prayers. It's hard to have little kids. Those are my thoughts. My high also is that I got a nap today. Also, we're refinancing our house from a 4.5 to a 3.1. <laughs> Boring. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> Save a lot of money. Ashton and I are RV shopping like crazy. So is everyone else in America and there's no more RVs. <laughs> we went to just look around for fun at the RV place and uh, they're like, yeah, we don't have anything in stock. This is pretty much everybody's vacation this year buying an RV. So next year, there's gonna be a ton of used RVs for sale. We're throwing around the idea of dreaming a little bit with that. So that's really exciting too. Utah has moved to a low, a low risk level for coronavirus though. So that's exciting. That could be a high. And my low, gosh, what a just a, it's just 2020 is turning out to be probably the worst year I've ever lived. Another low is, I don't know if it's going to actually happen or not, but our neighbors just got a citation from our HOA in the mail that they did something that wasn't approved in their driveway. What makes us nervous about this situation is we've literally changed everything about the outside of our house without submitting to the HOA for approval first, which I think is the stupidest thing in the world. I mean, we chose to live here, but for the record, we hate the HOA. We haven't checked our mailbox in a few days. We need to go check it soon. And I'm really afraid there's gonna be a citation in there, which can range anywhere from 150 to $25,000 fine. This is Which I highly doubt they would charge us $25,000 for having some unapproved plants in our front yard. Ellen is becoming more and more like me in quarantine. Usually I'm the one who avoids things. Like I have 13,000 unopened emails. I don't listen to voicemails. I don't answer on no phone calls. You don't respond calls. to text messages. <laughs> You're becoming me. No, I'm gonna go check the mailbox first thing tomorrow and if it comes, I'm just gonna burn it and then we'll move. That's how I would do that. <laughs> so we are on the same page after all. We're just nervous that they watch our vlog and this is the reason why they learn that we have unapproved things in our front yard. Luna doesn't care. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for watching our videos. We just love having you with us. You guys are the reason we're able to do what we do. And so our hearts go out to you. Hope you're staying healthy and well and safe during this time of great unrest and uncertainty in this crazy world. Oh, that was a big that yawn. Luna, should we go to bed? And a burp at the yeah. same time. All right. See you guys.